Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie Hood Legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in battle rap. Look, let's talk. It's easy to block Captain, still number one battler in the world. Let's talk. Because his last three battles, we haven't been hearing this number one in the world shit. I'm just keeping it real. His last three, Charlie Clips, that's the L. John John and Don, that's the debatable L. Then he got Geechee Gotti, that is an L. You know what I'm saying? Like, before that, he had Hitman. So it's like, in his last four, Easy to Block Captain is one and three. And they talking about he got a crazy jaw that's about to come up. He need this win, bro. I don't know who it is or whoever it's going to be, but Easy to Block Captain need this win because that number one battler in the world talk is no longer active. It's not active no more. Access denied. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not talking hefty like he was before. I'm number one in the world. I beat all these niggas. I do this. I do that. Look, bro, hold on. Easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. <laughs> you have been on a losing streak. Your last three battles, bro, are kind of like L's. I'm going to keep it real. You got to go back in the lab, and you got to make sure when you pop out for your next one, it's better be your best one. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Easy been having a lot of excuses. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to answer to the Cassidy joint. I ain't, even, I ain't even bring that up. I ain't even bring that up. You can count that as an L, too, bruh, because you didn't even respond. You didn't even respond. You talking about some after the Charlie Clips battle, I'm going to respond. We're waiting. We're waiting. Still no response from Easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he talking about his next battle. He don't want no smoke with Cass. But, yo, Easy. This number one battler in the world, bro, where is it at? What's going on? I haven't been hearing him talk hefty. I haven't. I have not. Before this, right here, he was talking about the URL. They got to fix his stats on the app, and he's undefeated, and this and that. Bro, you looking shaky right now, Easy. You are looking shaky. It's time for you to go back to the drawing board. You, 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 you have to. You have to, because if you don't, bro, it's, this already looks bad on you. This already looks bad. Your last three are L's. Are L's. You know what I'm saying? You need a big battle, a big win. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. You need a major win to actually get your name back in the ranking. So, like, with all that being said, easy is stop them with the number one in the world talk and all this and that. So, who is the number one active battle rapper right now in the world? Is it Tay Rock? Is it Rock? Has Rock moved into that slot? Because he wasn't far behind Easy, you know what I'm saying, as far as like trailing Easy as far as for that number one spot. But with all the work that Rock has been putting in this year, it kind of like shuffled the deck of cards a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so Easy kind of dropped down maybe to number three. And you know what I'm saying? It kind of moved Rock into number one. And now, you know what I'm saying? The rankings have shifted, bro. The power rankings in Battle Rap has shifted. Who does the power ranking? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real because, like, there, there is rankings. You know what I'm saying? A loss can knock you out of the top slot. A win can boost you up two slots. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is more the end of the year. And I know Chris Unbias kind of do his numbers at the end of the year. But this is kind of like month to month. You know what I'm saying? Every six months. It's about to be six months into this year. Six months into this year, and Easy to Block Captain has not won a battle yet. You know what I'm saying? So the power rankings have to be set, and they have to be shifted, and Rock has kind of like been on a killing spree. This nigga been battling, battling every other week. He got Cali Smooth come up. This is coming up. This nigga got battles galore coming up, bro. Rock got Jerry West coming up. Rock has like moved itself into that number one spot. I'm gonna keep it real easy. You are no longer the number one battler in the world. Yeah, you went 12-0. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the Patriots when they first came out. I'm going to use a football analogy. It's kind of like the Patriots when they first came out and nobody could actually kind of figure out how to beat them or, you know what I'm saying, like a, a, a team with a new quarterback, I'm going to say. Because last year, you know what I'm saying, you had the Houston Texans quarterback come in the game, C.J. Stroud, and nobody had no kind of no NFL film on him. So they didn't know what he was going to do, and he went out there and he lit it up. Tom Brady, he was a, a late draft pick, seven, eighth round draft pick. He come out there, nobody has really no good film on him. He come out there, light it up, start winning championships. He get replaced with Bless. So, bruh, it's for sports and battle rap go hand in hand. I'm going to keep it real. That's why you have Gerald McCoy all in the culture. It's battle rap and football and sports and all in, the, all in one go hand in hand. And they have power rankings in sports. You know what I'm saying? And easy. You were the, the 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 Kansas City Chiefs. You were the 
the old Patriots. Now it's just like, bro, people don't figure you out. You know what I'm saying? Now you you Aaron Rodgers on the Vikings. You know what I'm saying? Like, not Aaron Rodgers, but you, you but Brett Favre on the Vikings. You know what I'm saying? We all remember when Brett Favre went to the Vikings. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep it real. You know what I mean? But, like, it's easy. You need the next battle to actually be the best battle of this year so far. And I know you went through a lot. So my condolences to you. My condolences to you. But if you didn't, if you didn't need to take that battle, you should have took it. You should have took that battle. Everybody know what's going on, but you, you you saying like certain things was going on when you shouldn't have took the battle. Where if you didn't want to take the battle, you shouldn't have took the battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna just go keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But it's like this. You have to make your next battle the best battle. And I don't say this two or three times, bro. But you got to make sure it's your best one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you went on a, a winning spree. You know what I'm saying? You beat Hitman. That, that was your claim to fame right there because a lot of the other battle rappers, that was, yo, your footage was trapped on the app. Your footage was trapped on the app. So Hitman actually pulled you, him and Remy pulled you from the app, brought you to, to you to the tube where you were before, and then actually you went viral more, which you had already went viral with your top tier this and all this and that. I feel like easy, you kind of lost hunger. You kind of lost your hunger after it's like you went on that winning streak. You went 12 and 0, or whatever it was. You went 12 and 0. You know what I'm saying? Then you actually come out here and you, you start getting your teeth fixed and all this and that, and you lose your hunger. You become a star outside of the URL, which they already kind of created this monster with the machine as far as being the URL, and you actually pop out from there, and then you jump ship and go to Chrome 23, and then it's like you lose the hunger. You get the bag and you lose the hunger, bro. I understand that. You know, a lot of people get the bag and they don't be having the bag and stuff like that. And then when they get the bag, you know, you always hear people say, oh, man, if I made this certain, certain type of money, I wouldn't do this. But then they get the money and they do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what really happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get the hunger back. It's like easy just said, forget it. I'm already a top tier. My name is Solidify. I went, I went, I did go 12 and 0. You just talking about old accolades. But in this era of battle rap, in this era of the of the universe that we're in, in the world, like everybody is is microwave, bro. You got it's what have you done for me yesterday? It ain't even lately no more. It's what have you done for me yesterday? So people are looking at your last one. You only as good as your last fight that you fought. And right now, the last fight that you fought, you on camera saying that you lost. Something that battle rappers don't normally do, but salute to you for that. But still, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like your last one was a loss. Then the one before that one was a, a debatable loss. And the one before that one was a, was a loss. So it's like, you got to jump back on your toes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get back. You, bro, you... You know what I'm saying? You have you having niggas come around you that ain't even around you. You gotta trim the fat off your crew and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, bro, easy. What are you? What are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do as far as battle rap? As far as this culture of battle rap? Yeah, you solidify, but what are you gonna do to make these niggas with the fans really feel like that you are still that same nigga, that same easy? You know what I'm saying? The same one that was hungry that would go out there and battle no, no matter the circumstances. You weren't fumbling over your material. I never seen Easy fumble over his material, bruh. This nigga, I felt like this nigga can rap with the radio on, the kids crying, people shooting basketball, the, the neighbors mowing the lawn. This nigga could like, he, he could rap through all of that. But it seems like his last battle, he really wasn't into this Charlie Clips battle. And, and he just probably felt like Clips won't go come prepared and he was going to freestyle. But he got bodied that third round with giving the head and the whip. And, yo, that was crazy. Yeah, Remy didn't say nothing about that, did she? She didn't say nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? So, bruh, I'm just going to keep it real easy. I know you got a big battle coming up. I know you got a, a, a fire battle coming up. But you should play your cards right to where you win this battle. Because what's the use of, have, of taking the big opponents and the bigger names if you're not going to go in there and you're not going to show, show off? And you're not going to have a crazy performance. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't cheat the fans or let better yet cheat yourself. Don't ruin your, your legacy. It's too early for that. Don't ruin your legacy right now. You the, the top the top talking about battle rapper forever. You the algorithm boy. You, I am the al algorithm. Yeah, it's the algorithm, the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. It's the algorithm. So, with all that being said, I feel like easy to block Captain. 
You got to get back on your dean. You got to get back on your toes. You got to hit the lab. You got to make sure that what you're doing is the, like fire. You know what I'm saying? Like you used to, you used to kind of like angle. I didn't even hear like an angle kind of in there. You know what I'm saying? Like in your rounds versus a lot of your last few opponents. You got to really angle. You, you tried it, but it really didn't hit like it was supposed to. Like an old, easy to block cat to angle. You know what I'm saying? Like, and all these, like, older battle rappers, bro, they got, like, crazy angles on them. So you should you should have had a field day with clips. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Come on now, easy. But with all that being said, it's the homie hood legend. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe down in the comments. It don't cost you nothing. It's free to tap that button, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like free shit, right? Tap it. Hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Tap in. But anyway, it's the homie hood legend. Until next time, I'm out, man.